Hi Leo, this is Ascended Twin 144K. I'm here to do a general collective read for your star sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node and South Node. I hope everyone is doing well. I know we're experiencing a major outbreak right now for a lot of different people all over the world. Um, this coronavirus seems to be um, spreading fear and uh, a whole lot of other unnecessary um, stuff that's going on. But anyway, I'm, give, I'm just sending out love, peace, and blessings and healing to all of those that need it. Whether you're still here, you have crossed over to the other side, or you are combating this disease, okay? Or this outbreak. So love, light, energy, and positive healing sent in everybody's direction that needs it. Outside of that, how's my soul fam doing? I know we've been gone for a minute, but I still come back and I do my readings. I know it's not consistent, but I work with it because there are some issues that I have that um, cause this. We'll get into it one day, but just not today. But in the meantime, thank you to all of my subscribers who have subscribed with me, who are still rocking with me from day one. I love y'all. Thank y'all so very much. And to those who don't, but come through just to see what the fuck I'm doing, much love. Many blessings to you. I appreciate the love. You stopped by. Hey, that's some energy. Also, um, y'all know I cuss. I talk shit in my videos. So if this offends you, now is the time to click off. I'm not the reader for you. I'm not the reader for you. And I understand that. There's no harm, no foul. Also, um, this may or may not resonate with every Leo. If it doesn't, check your sun, your, I mean, your moon, your rising, your Venus, your Jupiter, Mercury, north node, south node. Shit, I don't know. Check them. But um, in the meantime, what don't resonate, fuck it. It wasn't meant for you. But all of my readings are timeless. I don't care what sign you click on, what message, uh, whatever video you click on, all of my readings are timeless. So... In the meantime, as we know, time is fluid. So this could be past, present, or future energies. Um, like I said, take what resonates, what doesn't. Fuck it. It wasn't for, it wasn't for you. Also, um, you know, this could be you, them, you versus them, you or them. The energies can be reversed. This could be same-sex relationships, energies, divine masculine, divine feminine, twin flames, all of that. Okay. Now, anything that you want to know about me and my channel will be listed in the description box below the video. So without further ado, all of my cards and this reading has been blessed. It's been prayed over and the cards have already been pre-shuffled and cut. Okay. So I use the Illuminati Tarot to set up who's going to be read for next. Leo, you're the next one on duty. So we have the Ace of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. We have um, the Nine of Wands, which is actually Sagittarius energy, um, fire sign energy. We have Virgo, the hermit. We have the six of wands, that's you, Leo. And we have the, the two of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the three of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy again. So huh, let's see. There is an offer of love here, but somebody is very guarded, very wounded, very injured. They have retreated into themselves to gain inner clarity and guidance and wisdom, knowledge, to gain victory. After being very indecisive for a long period of time, there could have been someone that could have been juggling you, uh, Leo, or you could have been juggling them. Um, and somebody could have been possibly married or in a contractual agreement or business arrangement like a marriage, but not a marriage. You could have been dealing with a earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or you could have this in your chart or your person could, or you both could. But it is saying at the bottom of the deck with the Romance Angels Oracle deck, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And whomever you are dealing with, Leo, there's no action being taken. Maybe it's because it's time for someone to take a much needed rest or a much needed break, or maybe this is a breakup. And I am going to pull a card from the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. Um, I love this new deck. I'm still learning it. I'm in no rush to learn it. So um, 
I just want the information to soak in. We have the seven of water. So let's go see what the seven of water means. I'm almost there, guys. And if I didn't mention something and it comes to mind, I will put it in the video as we go. Okay? All right. Seven of water. It is knowing, trust, faith, surrender, control, in parentheses, release, peace, certainty, passive. We have surrendered to the flow of life, relinquished the need to control, all happens as it is meant to. The future will bring what you need, not what you want. Oh, I love that. Control is an illusion. Love that too. Your influence on the future is limited. Yield and be flexible, a gentle, a gentle passive approach. That's what the seven of water brings us, okay? So guys, I'm going to go ahead and slide this over to the side so we can get to the heart of the matter. And I'm going to start out with... Um, the Romance Oracle, so we can get some love on this reading, besides just love yourself first. I think some of you have already done that or working on it. So what messages, Romance Oracle, can you give me for my Leos? What do they need to know in love and romance, please? We have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So some of you could be needing to heal some issues from the past pertaining to um, growing up, maybe childhood issues. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So I'm feeling with this that some of you may have experienced some patterns that you um, may have um, picked up as a child and you are now um, repeating those patterns in your adult life in your love life okay so we're going to sit these to the side I'm going to go ahead and reshuffle these because I'm going to come back to close out your reading with love again I always like to open up the readings with love as well as close them out with love because I think that is the most important thing. I remember before I even had my spiritual awakening, I used to, um, well, when I began the journey with my twin, um, my divine masculine, I wasn't even aware that I was on my journey yet. But I knew that the moment we met, um, well, when I first saw a picture of him, I recognized him by his eyes. And I was like, I know you. But didn't know him. But anyway, um, what I found out was that I used to put in my text messages that love is the only thing. And I used to say love is everything. And people used to ask me, why do I say that? And because when it's all when it all boils down to it, you take away all the material possessions, you take away everything else in life. What do you have besides people? You can have hate, but what is hate operated out of? Fear. What is any other energy operated out of? It's either love or fear. So which one are you going to choose? I choose love. So love is everything to me. With love, you'd be surprised what you can grow out of life. So let's go, Leo. What is the messages for my Leo subscribers? What is their energy? What do they need to know regarding love, career, and life? What is their messages, please? First card that came out is the seven of cups so you could be dealing with a water sign pisces cancer scorpio someone may have multiple options this could be you 
um, Leo, or it could be your person. Um, I feel like somebody is in a committed relationship, but they are still keeping their options open. And there is a lot of lies and deception to go along with it. Because at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So you could be lying, Leo, or your person could be lying. But we're going to get down to the bottom of it, Booski. And see what the fuck is going on. Why? We have the world. Oh, no, not the world card. My bad. We have the wheel of fortune. So this is a destined and fated event to happen in your life. And this can also be karma. The wheels could uh, spin in your favor and it could be good fortune or it could spin in the reverse and it could be not in your favor. And that's when it becomes a lesson. We have the queen of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and we have the three of hearts, more air energy. So someone has definitely gained truth and clarity in a situation which has caused someone a broken heart or someone uh, ended up with a broken heart after gaining truth and clarity in the situation um, where someone, like I said, could have been married or in a committed relationship, but there was a third party. There's the commitment right there or the marriage like um, situation. And this was a lesson. This was karma. Somebody needed to learn to love themselves first, Leo, either you or your partner or both. Can I get more information for my Leos? We have the Nine of Cups. So somebody was um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So we could have someone that is addicted. Uh, someone could be suffering from addictions. I'm hearing drinking, smoking, sex addictions, um, material gain. These are the things that your person may have um, put you in a third party situation for. Someone was um, more inclined to deal with somebody that did mind them juggling, having multiple options while you put your foot down and said, I'll be goddamn. Somebody said that. I'm hearing that. And that's exactly how you said it. I'll be goddamn if I'm going to play second to any fucking body. What is the other messages for my Leonians? Soul Tribe. What are their messages, please? What is the energy of this reading? Some of y'all could have been dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that had multiple options, finding out that those options were illusions. Now this person wants to wear their heart on their sleeve where they normally don't. This is what I'm feeling and this is the energy and the message that I'm getting is that this person generally is poker face, but uh, maybe not so much of a poker face anymore. And I'm hearing the song um, Poker Face or the title of the song Poker Face by Lady Gaga. So that could be a message for someone. Um, this could have been someone that was a past life soulmate to you um, so, or someone from your past. But I feel more like this is someone that is from your past life. So this could have definitely been a lesson Someone, um, once they got their truth and clarity and guidance in the situation and cut this shit out, your ships came in. So this person could have been blocking you from receiving your um, abundance in the situation. Could have been dealing with a fire sign or someone that has heavy water in their chart with fire. And this shit was codependent, very toxic addictions, sexual addictions, open relationship type of addictions, polyamory, swing life, that type shit. Somebody was dealing with it. Yeah, your heart got broke or either you broke their heart, Leo, because somebody was hiding a lot of shit. Somebody was keeping a lot of secrets, either you or your person. And it caused you to walk away. It caused you to leave this situation. You left for calmer waters. The waters were choppy you were dealing with. Could have been dealing with a water sign with air in their chart. That's exactly what the fuck I'm hearing. Ooh, that's way too many, y'all. I'm not taking all that shit. If it's meant to come out, it'll come out in the reading. 
Queen of Wands. So yeah, <laughs> fire sign with heavy water in their chart. Somebody is dealing with a fire sign that's got water in their chart. They've got air in their chart. And you could have been dealing with someone that was very deceptive. Or this could have been you, Leo. Either or. Take it how it resonates. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the tower. Scorpio, Aries energy. So this person could have had Aries in their chart or Scorpio in their chart or both. But somebody um, got into a situation and it caused a major shakeup. There was a massive change. And I smell a breakup. And that's what that four swords was about. So I'm going to find out why. Yeah, so somebody got justice dealing with a fuckboy. You could have been dealing with a Libra too or have Libra in your chart. It left you wounded, guarded, defensive, hurt, broken is what I'm hearing for some of you. Why is justice here for Leo? Because somebody wasn't seeing something clearly. They couldn't make their mind up about a decision about you or another person. Who is this other person that they couldn't make their mind up without spirit? Somebody that was a liar, very deceptive. Seven of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Somebody has air in their chart, heavy air in their chart. Yeah, and they were in a commitment. We have the higher fence. So this person can have water, air, heavy air in chart in um Gemini. Damn it, I like to I, Gemini it is then. It could be a Gemini, somebody that has Gemini prominently somewhere in their chart. It could be tropical or Vedic is what I'm being told. And this person was already in a committed relationship or something like a committed relationship. But it caused blockages and delays with your finances. You could have lost a lot of shit, Leo, behind this person. Either you or them or both. And there could have been a baby that was involved in this situation unbeknownst to you. So... Um, children could have been a factor in that love life relationship that you guys were having. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Leo? Can you give me insight and guidance for Leo? Yeah, twin flame. Some of you are dealing with a twin flame. Someone that was already committed in a relationship. Uh, somebody that was very cold, very detached. Um very analytical, very logical, used their head over their heart and was willing to cut out anything that didn't suit them. They had multiple people that constantly, there was a lot of competition going on. Um, Leo could have been dealing with somebody that um, has fire in their chart. They like to fuck around a lot at the workplace, caused a lot of harsh communication. Somebody charged in and cut somebody to fuck out. Um, because they got tired of being caught up and feeling like they had to compete for somebody's love or affection is what I'm being told. Why is the Queen of Swords here for Leo? Because somebody communicated and you got truth and clarity in the situation or you communicated to them. What was the communication about for Leo? <clears throat> That you needed to gain a higher, um, you needed to gain a higher perspective and get some clarity and guidance, and work on it. Focus and work on that. Somebody is also leveling up on your finances. So, divine came in, stepped in, separated you off from this person, so you could focus on yourself, focus on your finances. This person could have left you for finances with this other person that they were committed to. And I'm getting secret commitment. Yeah, there was a lot of nasty ass communication after somebody broke your heart or either you broke theirs, Leo. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Hangman is Pisces energy. Yeah, an angel stepped in to help you balance the situation because you needed to walk away from this. Sagittarius energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius again. So there could have been a Sagittarius involved. This could also have had some family and friends is what I'm hearing as well in this situation. Yeah, this person was a master manipulator and left you out in the cold. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. 
they chose someone else. They chose someone else that they thought could give them the world over what you could offer. Why is this King of Cups here for Leo, please? Can you give me guidance on why the King of Cups is here for Leo? Yeah, this motherfucker was childish. And they spy on your ass a lot now. They regret what they did. This motherfucker was um, very... Um, what am I, the energy I'm getting off of this card is someone was very um, conflicted. Not only just conflicted, but this person was an asshole too. They were a real asshole to you and with you. Um, they felt like they got one over on you. What I'm hearing is someone couldn't believe that you were actually this genuine, that you were this real. Either you or them. Somebody didn't believe you as far as who you were and how you showed up in this relationship. And they didn't trust it because this person has been broken. This is a broken person that you're dealing with. And they're still very immature. They need to grow up. They need to grow the fuck up. Why is the Six of Cups here for Leo? We have the Knight of Wands. So your past person is a hoe. They believe in in and out one night stands. Could have possibly got someone pregnant. Thought they were the shit too. And they thought that whoever they were dealing with was the shit. Thought they could give them the world. But now somebody is going through healing, regeneration too. You wish for this person too. So it's like you called in this person. So this was a lesson. You're going to gain happiness though. You got beautiful healing and happiness coming your way, Leo. Right here. Right there. Beautiful. And they're going to have egg on their face for this shit. The laws of karma. Don't forget an address. Point blank period. Yeah, they could have been hiding that they were dealing with a Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Who is this Queen of Pentacles? Why is she here for Leo? Or you could have been dealing with a uh, Queen of Pentacles. But the world card is here. This cycle is over. Some of you could be seeing Tintin 10 in the situation. Yeah, there it goes again. Three of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. This is who they were involved in a committed relationship with. They chose finances over love. God's spirit showed you the truth in the situation. That's why you walked away. Why is the queen of wands here for Leo? This is your energy, Leo. But there could have been another Leo or somebody that had Leo in their chart like yourself. Yeah. This person could have had earth, all of what you see right here, earth, water, air, Capricorn, and fire in their chart. Doesn't necessarily have to be a Leo. And this bitch gloated about that she won, got one up on you. Either she or he. Yeah. Now somebody wants to come in and take action. They're using their intuition. They know this shit was toxic. They know they put you in a fucked up situation. Now they've made a choice and want to come in and give you the world, either you or them, Leo. Hmm. Interesting. Let's put some romance oracles on the reading. Unrequited love is sitting down here at the bottom. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So maybe this person felt like you didn't have what they were looking for at that present time in order to maintain a relationship with you. They felt like being the fact that they had addictions is what I'm hearing. So this is only going to resonate for some of you guys. But this person could have chose um, the material things over your divine counterpart for those who are divine counterparts and for others of you um this person 
chose materialism. It still comes down to this. They chose materialism and their addictions over the love that you were offering. That's why it was unrequited. They couldn't give you what you needed, Leo. Can you give me some love insight for Leo, please? And you still have unrequited love at the bottom of the deck. So this person isn't ready. And it still came right back. Love yourself first. So you're definitely dealing with someone that mirrored to you back what you need to work on upon yourself, Leo. And in the beginning of somebody's reading, it said, didn't shoot the messenger. So don't shoot me because uh, I didn't do this. All right. Some of you could have, had a, have, could have had a lot of passion with this person. Could have been dealing with someone um, like yourself that had fire in their chart. Can you give me some messages for my Leo soul, soul tribe, please? What are their messages? This is the Earth Magic deck. So some of you needed to gain a higher perspective, step away from things, so you could have this new beginning, which you're going to receive. And some of you, go hug a tree so you can ground yourself or take your shoes off. And walk outside barefooted, but um, maybe not so much. Maybe on a warm day, but I would suggest go hug a tree instead. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, we have financial constraints. So either you are experiencing financial constraints in this um, situation, but one plus three, 13 is four. So that's stability. So stability is heading your way after financial constraints. Maybe this person could have left you. Or not um, chose you in a situation because you did not have enough finances. And this other person offered them something that they thought actually was um, a better deal. And it turned out to be a sucker's deal. What is the messages for my Leo subscribers? What is the energy? The garden and the gate. So that grass ain't always green on the other side type shit. Right there. We have appreciation. So I feel like that goes back with love yourself first. Appreciate you. Yin and yang. Balance out your divine masculine, your feminine side. Caring connections. Someone will come in and give you a caring connection. Don't let it be conflicted. Yeah, somebody had to make a choice and you needed to make one too. Because somebody was wearing a false mask in this situation. And your fifth chakra, you need to speak up, Leo. Speak your truth. Or you probably did speak your truth. That's how you got the new beginning. Let's see what the Ascended Masters have to say for your reading love. We have take charge of this situation, Moses. So there you go. Can you give me a message? What are the messages for my Leos from the Ascended Masters? Ooh, shit. I ain't like that card. And I'll show it to you in a minute, baby. Go now. <laughs> Serapis Bay. Um, positive changes are coming your way. I like that. Meditate. That is good to do. It helps clear and balance your energies. And you can do this. Archangel Michael, I love him. And come out of the closet. So some of y'all could have been dealing with somebody that may have been bisexual. Spiritual understanding. And this is the last step. Um, Archangel Raziel, I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. So... You're getting a lot of guidance right here in this situation about who you were dealing with. And I'm pretty sure you understand who you were dealing with, with um, who the person was that you were dealing with when it was all said and done. It may have taken you a minute. 
but you got the clarity and guidance that you needed in this situation. So the card that um, we have is take back your power, take charge of this situation, go now. All of that comes right there. Take your power back. Archangel Raziel, use your God-given power and intentions to manifest blessings into your life. Yeah, like I said before, this person was blocking your blessings. You could have lost, um, you could have ended up being homeless behind this shit too and had to start all over. Lost job, home, car, all of that shit. Some of you not so severe, but others of you, yes. And overcoming difficulties. Archangel Jeremiah, the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. So these are your messages from the Archangel Oracle and all the other oracles that are here. So I hope this message resonated for someone. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with your family and friends. Leo, y'all can find me on Instagram as Ascended Twin 144K. You can find me on Facebook as Nikita Kelly Ascended Twin. You can find me here on YouTube as Ascended Twin 144K. I love you, soul fam. Y'all take care of yourself. Stay blessed. Peace.